John, you're up next. Uh, you've been married. You're divorced. Oh, the champ is here. The champ is here. Wrong, John. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to you in a bit, <laughs> MLD. Uh, so, what is your blanket policy right now? Like, actually, talk about how you handled money in your marriage, and talk about what your policy is today. Yeah. So I was, I was, yeah, blue pill alpha, very idealistic, and. I gave up uh, control of the finances early on in the relationship uh, and a major mistake. I think uh, some of the best advice I ever got was, was something Josh Koscheck said to me before I got married. And he said, never, uh, never let him see your bank account. Never let him see uh, how much money you have. Uh, I just kind of la laughed it off because, you know, I'm idealistic and, oh, it's true love and whatever. We're a team. We're partners. <laughs> Right. And it got to a point where, uh, you know, I was doing everything myself, <clears throat> having no problems running, running the show, doing the investments, paying the taxes. I had it all handled um, because I did things my way. She didn't like the way I did. It. I did a little bit older. I'm uh, I like I like getting the I like getting the bills. I like I like writing the checks out, you know, old, old fashioned. And uh, she didn't like the way I did things. So she kept just bothering me and harassing me and bullying me to like let her do it just let me do it let me let me uh take over so we you know because if i if i was late on something and, and we got a little bit of a late payment you know it was my fault because i was still using mail to pay my pay my bills um and then eventually she you know she takes over the finances and she's running everything and then i after a while i don't even know what's in my bank account because she's a bank account nazi If uh, if I had to do it over again, there'd be no way that you'd ever know what I'm making at all. You um, shared a story when I was talking on my channel on the plane to win about how you came home from work one day and, and she was all like hair, makeup and nails were all done. She just blew, I don't know, a few hundred dollars on that. And you were in a position where you had to sell your truck. I was looking at selling my truck because we were I just got cut from the UFC. Uh, well, no, I was. Uh, I just had a draw with DJ Penn. I had bought a second home. Um, you know, I was injured, so I was out for like nine months. Like, was 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 struggling money wise for a little while, and I was like remodeling this house. So, uh, while I'm going through all this stuff, I'm like, damn, we need we need some cash. So, in order to kind of fund my training and my house and and everything, I was like, gonna sell my truck. I love my truck. It's like my <laughs> favorite. It's my favorite. One of my favorite things. And. Um, I like just had it lifted and everything, you know, like painted. So, uh, not not looking forward to get rid of it. But like, I, what what I what I was hoping to get for it was like ten grand under what it was I was going to get for it, mm -hmm. you know. And it kind of hurt a little bit. And then I came home one day, and like I was about ready to sell it that day. And then when I came through the door, you know, hair's blown out, nails, makeup, everything's you know to boots. It she probably dropped like five hundred bucks that day just just doing her doing her shit up and and based on what you learned from that um and where you are today like how would you manage money in an ltr on a go forward basis yeah i'm never going to i'm not going to mix that ever again like my accounts are going to be my accounts um you know if i ever enter into some kind of significant ltr you know uh like Aaron said, man, like everybody's got to work nowadays. Just about you got to have some kind of revenue stream coming in. Um, so yeah, I, I would I would have to have maybe a joint account if we were going to do long term. But that that'd be if you know if we're having kids. I don't. I wouldn't see me doing anything long term or supporting anybody unless I'm putting babies in them. Mm. Honestly. Yeah, it makes sense.